This has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. I'm looking at her right now, and I'm watching her body language, and her intimidation factor has got to be off the charts knowing she's facing Rhea Ripley. Her intimidation factor is zero. One of the most dominant forces the women's division has ever seen, Rhea Ripley. The Eradicator is here. And representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, just be one of the most intimidating presences WWE has ever experienced in either division. She strikes pure, unbridled fear. Rhea Ripley has truly become the walking embodiment of brutality. She displays a viciousness that's just on another level. When you get in the ring with Ripley, things are guaranteed to get ugly. And that's just the way she wants it. Rhea has fully embraced the darkness inside her and unleashes it on her opponents to great effect. But the suffering she inflicts can be downright barbaric at times. No doubt we'll see that wicked streak of hers on full display here. And even though the title isn't on the line, she's got a tough fight ahead of her. She sure does. This woman isn't out to win a title yet, but she's here to make a statement. That makes her an extremely dangerous foe. Oh my, what a splash! Oh, the power! That was a power bomb with one message in mind. Absolute destruction. From the top. Whoa, what a landing. Soaring through the sky and crashing onto their opponent. Ooh, she got rocked by that knee. She's starting to look concerned. Ref still counting, close to calling it. Hurry back in. She was a millisecond away from the count out, guys. Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. Right across the legs. We know Rhea Ripley possesses an immense amount of power. Corey, is that enough for her to take home the win here tonight? A superstar like Rhea Ripley isn't at their peak because of one attribute. And frankly, you should know that, Cole. Rhea Ripley is successful because she has tremendous ring IQ and dominating presence. That's something that takes years for people to learn. Up and around, tilt-a-whirl slam. Great response to Ripley there. Retaliating with a suplex. Two-handed choke slam. And now she's looking to go top rope. Taking flight, missile drop kick. She can end it here. Fence on the three count. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Oh, just in case the first few didn't hurt, there's another. 
Impressive assault from Rhea Ripley. And that wasn't just power, Cole. The ring IQ of Rhea Ripley helped her gain that advantage there. What a German suplex. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. And as this fight goes on, Rhea's reaching new levels of brutality. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. On the throat in the corner. But I guarantee they're going to take great umbrage with that offense. Ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. This is a crushing amount of offense from her. Impressive sequence by Ripley. Rhea looking to end this one right now. This will do it. Submission locked in. Oh, man. There's nowhere for her. And she lets her out of the submission. I don't know if it's Mercy or if it's someone who's not done playing with their prey. Whoa, roll up out of nowhere. Shoulder shoots up before two. Amazing effort by her. Effectively using the knee. Top rope from the top. What a counter! Oh, what a clubbing blow! Just look at the power of Rhea Ripley. Oh, devastating face buster! There was nothing but malice behind that offense from Ripley. Mounting a downed opponent, look at them go over and over and over again. And a slap for the exclamation point. Saw that coming. Oh, man. She sent back in under the ropes. Ripley has things right where she wants them. Here we go. There's the rip tie. Ripley with an emphatic statement. Two. What a performance and what a win. Here is your winner, Rhea Ripley. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, despite the earlier distraction, they were able to focus and keep their eyes on the prize. Hey, they were just trying to keep them on their toes here. And guess what? They did. So it looks like a win-win to me. Yeah, more like a game plan backfiring, Corey. And that is cause for celebration.